Hello everybody and welcome back to just a quick basic Sekuli script where we're going what we've got it doing now is uh, clicking here, typing syntax, hitting enter, and now we're, we've arrived on the page but we still want to actually uh, log in. So the next thing we need to do is once we arrive on this page, we want to come down here and click something. But how, but, but what if, if we just say, okay, click this right after this, um, chances are like the loading time is going to take longer than Sekuli. Like Sekuli is going to go very fast, whereas the um, uh, the loading time of Syntex.com might not be fast enough. So what you want to do is actually wait um, until the page loads. So what's a good way for that? Well, the way we're going to log in here is just going to go here. The members chart is just going to say you're not a member, and then we're going to log in. So um, what we really need to wait for is this button to be here, right? So uh, Sekuli makes this pretty simple. We want to wait until it sees this button. Once it sees that button, it needs to hover over the button and then subsequently wait for the drop downs. So now we want to say hover and we want it to hover over this waiting for so wait where's wait waiting for oops let's see if we can get it dang it hold on we'll try it one more time this time we got to beat it uh so where's wait there it is waiting for there we go waiting for this then once that appears we want to move our mouse to member charts and click it. So now what we want to do is this might be kind of difficult. Let's see here. Hmm. Click. There we go. Cool. Click members charts. Okay. So let's see if we can make it this far so far. So let's go ahead and save where we are now and we'll run it and let's see. So go to syntax.com. Oh shoot, since we were already on the page it, it went, but okay, we're still getting it though. So it's clicked on members charts, and now it's like, oh, you're not a member, uh, here's the subscription information. But, obviously there's this button here. We're already a member, we wanna log in. So now what we wanna do is, first of all, we need to do another wait, since we're waiting for this thing to load and Sekuli's quick. So we wanna wait until we spot log in, once we do, we want to go ahead and click login. And then uh, once you click login, we'll just click it. Now we need to wait, and what we're waiting for is a login box. So let's go ahead and say we want to wait for uh, this box. Hopefully it'll, let's see, yeah. The, uh, there we go. Okay, so we wait for that. Once that's there, we want to click in that username field. So once it's there, we're going to click right in there. And then as soon as we click there, we're going to type. Um, and I forget what I named. It's like Sekuli2 is the username I made. And then once we click, or we type, once we type that, now we want to come down here and type in the password. So the next thing we want to do is click um, underneath my password. And now we want to type, and I believe the password I set for this account was just Sekuli. So we do that, and now we want to log in after we've typed out the password. So now, let me just make a few more lines so you can see it easily. So now we want to, we've typed in password, we want to hit log in, so now we want to click log in. And so that should be it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just go back to google.com real quick. And now we'll go ahead and play this from the beginning. Let's see if we had any problems. Save all and run. So syntax.com, waiting. There it is, sees it, waits, comes down to members charts, clicks that bad boy, waiting for the charts. And we got a fail here on wait for login. Hmm. I wonder why I failed on the waiting part for the login. Let's see, cannot find. 
It's interesting that it would say that on a weight, though. Like, obviously, you couldn't find it. Hmm. I believe there's a sleep function. Let's try and add a sleeper. Just maybe it's like taking too long. So let's sleep like five seconds. I'm pretty sure that's just it for sleep. Let's go back to Google. Try it one more time. See what we get. But so far, it's doing everything else pretty well. There we go. That time I found the login. Now it's finding the Sakuli to Sakuli logs in. There we go. That's good. All right, cool. So now we've made a simple program that you know visits a website, logs into the website, and whatnot. Um, so by now you probably are getting somewhat comfortable with Sakuli and stuff. And those are just kind of the basics of Sakuli. Now you can use it to do all, all kinds of things. And as time goes on, I'll probably put up some more advanced tutorials of Sakuli. But for the most part, the purpose of Sakuli is to save you a lot of time. Because <laughs> um, as you can imagine, doing like this, first of all, we wrote this, is, you know, it's a 15-line program. And we wrote it in about, like, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes or something like that. Whereas if you wrote this within Python, uh, <laughs> it'd be like a, a few hundred lines probably. And uh, it would take you quite a while. So anyways, it's good for just rapid development of just a testing script that you just want to see, like, is this even going to work for me? So anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.